Greetings everyone, Xanrath here, welcome back to more Hearthstone, another week of Thunder Tavern Brawl, and this week, just a hallucination. These aren't my beautiful cards, this is not my beautiful deck, your deck's overflowing with hallucinations, go see how the other side plays. So, obviously, referring to the card, the rogue card, hallucinations, uh, or hallucination, taking, or discovering a, um, a card from your opponent's class, right? So, again, another very skill-intensive uh, Tavern Brawl, so hopefully I'll do okay, right? I'm not very good at these skill-based um, tavern brawls, skill in general, right? Uh, let's go ahead and go with Warrior, because, you know, my favorite class, got a quest, uh, to finish with it. I also have a quest to, comp uh, cast, uh, 40 spells, I think it's at 21 right now, of 40, so hopefully I won't be playing too many spells, uh, hoping to reroll that quest, just because, you know, it's 40 gold, I'd like to get some of those higher gold value quests, but, um, I guess, I don't know, in terms of strategy, <laughs> um, Oh, it looks like we get some, uh, actual, like, class cards, not just, uh, all hallucinations. I'm gonna guess it's, like, 25 hallucinations to 5 class cards, so we'll toss them all back and see what's up. But, well, I was saying before, um, yeah, what's the class with, like, the worst... Oh, I just got the slam back? Or, wait, holy crap. Let me finish my thought first. Uh, so, what is the class with, like, the worst, just, like, set of cards in general, right? So that your opponent, like, that, that would probably be the best class to play, minus, like, hero powers and all that stuff. Just because, you know, if your opponent, uh, is getting random cards, essentially, discovering random cards from a class, your class, if the class just has a, a bad set, you're more likely to have more bad cards, right? So, anyways, um, so, I guess, wow, okay, so that means I, I drew, in my opening four cards, I drew three class cards, not hallucinations. So maybe there is more than just five, or I just drew all of the class cards. Because I threw back one slam, right? And so I shouldn't be able to get that card back. Um, unless, you know, that uh, general understanding is, is not true, right? That if you toss a card in your mulligan, that you can't get it back. So I'm guessing there's a two slams, Ironforge Portal, and a Mortal Strike. And maybe one other thing, or maybe some more. I don't know, we'll see. Um, yeah. So, go ahead and throw out the hallucination. Flame Waker. That's good. I like that. Um, I guess I'll go, like, Flame Waker, Coin, Slam next turn? Maybe? Just throw out the, uh, I'll just throw out the armor up. He could put a, a kink in my in my plan by pinging there, right? Because then the slam won't draw me a card, but, you know. Um, I could alternatively, if I get a second hallucinate, a hallucination, sorry, uh, I can just go Flame Waker, coin, hallucination, hallucination, get six shots off, um, and save the slam for a rainy day. He definitely thought a long time, too, when he did the hallucination, so his first one. So he might have a two-drop on top of this one-drop that he actually ended up playing, right? So, All right, I'm guessing... I think he has all class cards now. Uh, warrior class cards, that is. I think those are all from hallucinations. All right, that's cute. Um, so he's not... He hasn't had great success with these hallucinates, at least early on. So let's see what's up. I was gonna say I probably shouldn't draw into the hallucinate a hallucination just because it kinda gives me a little bit more shots. But it's whatever. Um duplicate's fine. I think that actually would be really nice. Throw out the uh coin into another one. Um I guess we'll go with Blizzard. There we go. Nice. Alright. That made the most sense, right? Because I don't think uh, otherwise if I cleared this, he wouldn't be able to clear this flame waker. Um, so yeah, makes sense to not hit it for the last health. Um, okay. Maybe he has an arcane missiles in hand or something like that, but I don't think so. I think all those are all warrior cards. Maybe it's a second arc raid. I don't know. But it looks like he's not going to clear that, so that's kind of interesting. Um, yeah. I mean, I set it up so that he could clear my flame waker, but I guess he doesn't want to. All right. Um... I think we go slam first. Um, 
And then yeah, I wanna I wanna hit face. How many more times? I don't want to clear these because otherwise he's gonna lose the minion and then he can't use those minions to clear my flame waker, right? So let's go ahead and just avoid hitting those if we can. I go with the go with the mirror image. Oh, bit of a mistake. Uh, that's fine, I guess. Um, that's probably not gonna hit, right? I guess we'll go with this. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely would have preferred him to clear my board, gives him the best chance of winning, right? If you were to be able to clear my flame waker, but alas, bit of a mistake. I ended up killing uh killing both his minions. Um, so yeah, too bad, too bad. You can't clear one of these, uh, mirror entities, though. Okay, sick plays. Um, I don't have any taunts in my hand. Right, I guess I'll go with this. Because I don't really want to duplicate to let him... Uh, give me a mirror image back, right? Alright. Don't want to hit that, because otherwise I would be able to clear that. <coughs> so. Hitting it once, I think, makes the most sense. But of course, he has to be able to capitalize off of all these opportunities I'm giving him. Otherwise, kind of a moot point, like you saw last time. Didn't clear the warbot, so he could clear my um, flame waker, but he decided to go for... Uh, a hallucination, and then what? What did he do with the last mana? I think I think he, I didn't think he did anything with that last mana, right? So I don't know. Not sure what is going on, but okay. Um, yeah, these are not great cards. Um, I guess we throw out the ice barrier, hit this twice. Okay. I was going to say, probably should have hit it twice, because then I would have uh, given him one extra armor, missed one damage on his face, that would have been best for him, but, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry there. Bit of a tickle in the old throat. Cool, Don Honcho. Great. Is that the card that's been buffed, like, for the second time now? That's going to be a, a mighty, uh, mighty big card there. All right, let's see. Toss this out. Um, I don't think I have any secrets in my uh, my deck, so I'll go ahead and. Uh, how do I want to do this? I could throw out the revenge. Hmm. I don't have a weapon to utilize. I could go with uh, the immortal strike. Um, into duplicate. All right, so we're gonna do this. I was going to say, probably shouldn't have hit it, because then I would have uh, had to use X-Men other resources to do so, but, you know, I guess we'll go ahead and just hero power instead of uh, throwing out the duplicate. Cool. Cool. Not bad, not bad. Interesting, interesting. That's fine. I think I'll go with the duplicate into a revenge into trading this guy in. Um, I could throw out the stolen goods, but yeah, I don't think I need to. Actually, wait, do we have lethal? I think we do have lethal, right? Because we could just um. Well, let's see what we get. Uh, I don't think I've played a Primordial Glyph yet, because I don't have one. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll throw out the uh, Command Shout. Um, I guess we're just going to go for it. I'm just going to ignore this guy. Nope. Starting to realize he has feelings too. Um, I guess we'll go with the Nova. Nope. Is it? Okay. Flame Waker had other agendas, you know. Definitely wanted to... Uh, Maybe kill off his dude, but that's fine. Just for the uh, the extra kicks. Cool, we didn't finish our quest, so we get to reroll that tomorrow. Nice. Alright, well, that was, um, again, like I said, very skill-based. Um, getting the Flame Waker. Again, you know, very skill-based.
takes a certain amount of um, expertise at the game to get random cards that are good. Um, and then, like I said, probably should have traded that Warbot ping and uh, upgrade charge into the Flame Waker, right? In, uh, in all seriousness, joking aside about RNG, um, I mean, what did you really gain? What did he really gain by going with a Hallucinate on that turn, floating one mana, versus just pinging and then not having to deal with it? Because, you know, I don't know. Maybe he has some master plan that just never coalesced. Um, don't want to don't wanna discredit that. Anyways, uh, that was it for this week, so until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.